Hello guys and welcome to another lap time challenge video and in this one I'll be driving the McLaren 650S at Catalonia as I'm claiming the rewards from the previous week which was interesting the downshifts were definitely interesting that's something that I really enjoyed doing but yeah this week we got Barcelona Catalonia and also this week yeah one of the worst last corners and I believe in the game or even like in real life it doesn't really matter this is like the worst possible combination of last corners that you know I I don't know what to think about it but it's just like I, I don't enjoy driving this track uh, with this layout so without the chicane it's pretty good and as I'm watching these lap times it seems like you know the guys are already doing some amazing lap times and you know when I was picking up the car I first watched the, the fastest guy in the world and he was using this McLaren 650s I think this is a pretty decent car of course you can drive let's say a Genesis I see a variety of cars 458 I think it was um, but I think it was a, like a good car I mean it's kind of you can drive a couple of cars here it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to drive this car but it you know for me it was you know it was good to try something new and just as I'm watching him I can see like okay I need to really start accelerating really really quick I mean this car is good in the slow corners so exceptionally good I would say it's very difficult to lose control with this car and especially in these kind of tight turns you can really rely on the downforce and the performance of this car especially like the grip the grip is really good here and you know as I'm kind of trying to figure out what he's doing I also noticed that he's also stretching up the gears quite a lot so it's not like an early upshift or just adjusted about you know when it hits the rev meter you need to stretch it up for a little bit longer so that's something that can give you like a tenth or maybe even a tenth and a half by the end of the lap so definitely is something that you can really focus on especially like here first I never thought it was gonna be first but apparently you get more acceleration first and then again first gear just to get the rotation second gear on the way out and you know once again as we're going into yeah I don't know how he's doing I'm usually downshifting in the first gear and the way he's doing I think at this point I think he gets about three tenths just by doing this much much better than I am so I did a couple of laps, I mean, not a couple, of, I think in the end I did about 150 kilometers, which is about an hour, I think it's about an hour on this track, and the first lap that I did was a 45.2, which in the end it was good enough for the gold, I mean, eventually 46.0 is the gold here, I think it's gonna be more than okay, 45 is you know 45 is definitely something that are gonna get you the gold even 44.9 but I really wanted to get something more out of the car it is always that I'm trying to get something more but then again is you know whenever I had a good lap time I always got to this point and it was always like one penalty it was like one second penalty it was a half a second penalty it was always something and you know I tried and tried and tried and eventually I got the 44.5 which is once again a very decent lap time I think it's even the top 20 but again I missed the last you know th this last section I don't know what to think about it but it's just one of the reasons that I really dislike this track I mean in the without the chicane layout I think it's much much better they should have done something like that but yeah as you can see it's always if you want to get a good lap you have to jump over those curbs and that's simply the way it is I mean as usual I'm always trying to extract you know as much as I can possibly get out of the car but this was still about eight tenths from the fastest lap in the world I think even seven tenths. so it's quite a huge gap but you know I will just lead you through my fastest lap time I think it's gonna be more than enough to reach the goal the first one is the reference on the left and what I want to highlight here is do not upshift into sixth gear you will lose a little bit of time and as I'm going over these right and left curbs I mean there is definitely something that is gonna unsettle the car as it did you know with in my case so really be prepared to kind of catch the car until this point you need to tap the curb here if you want to get the full rotation of the car so if you don't touch the curb here you will not be able to accelerate as fast as I did so this is absolutely crucial to do there here I mean I'm usually using this one as a marker I mean there is really nothing much else that you can use and I think this is a pretty good reference so starting to turn in as soon as the curb ends downshifting the first I think you can even stay in second but kind of halfway there start to accelerate in second but progressively putting the power down not like 0 to 100 in no time the car will most likely slide then 
here. I, again, there are a couple of different breaking points that you can use, but this is the reference that I'm using. Use the curb, definitely. Downshift it into first gear. This is crucial. And then quickly upshifting. Use the curb if you need to. I mean, even avoiding the curb can be really, really good. I mean, as long as you get the rotation, and I think first gear is something that's going to get you that. And even here. So, like, from fourth gear, I'm all the way down to second. But the crucial point is do not turn in while you're still braking the car likes to understeer and it's understeering quite a lot so release the brakes as soon as you start turning in and here i just like to tap the brakes a little bit i mean once again it's a really understeery car at the same time but just as you can see the brakes are going at about 20 percent i mean 20 25 percent i think this is pretty much uh, the best thing that you can do and as soon as you get off the curb this is when you start accelerating so here once again just before the 100 meter sign there is this little mark and you can use the curb you can stay away from it but i like to use the curb start turning at the 50 meter mark downshifting at the first and this is what really surprised me accelerating in first instead of second so first is the gear to do this so second gear once again and here this is a tough one, I would say a really tough one, because I'm only using these tire marks as a reference. So braking is going about 30-40% in, just trying to take this little bit of a wider line and kind of halfway into the corner you already start accelerating. As I said before, this car has a lot of grip and you can definitely use it once again. Now, yeah, tire marks, it seems to be like the most obvious thing to do. First gear, I think I didn't really use the right line. And once again, this corner cost me, I believe, in like even two tenths, to two to three tenths in the end. So here, using the curb, the car got a little bit too much rotation and I jumped kind of in the wrong way over these curbs. The last one was kind of okay. I kind of unsettled the car, but in the end, it was slightly better. I just didn't have the confidence to push that hard. And that was the end result of it. I mean, it was a 44.3, but I think I can do a much, much better lap time. I just need a lot more practice. I need a lot more laps. But I think with a 44.3, you will definitely get the gold. I mean, that's not even a question. As you can see, I did round 140 kilometers, which got me P16 in the world. So it could have been worse. It could have been, of course, a lot better. But in the end, I just think I'm missing a lot of confidence in the last corner and it's so random you can pick up a penalty or you can ju just get it right and absolutely right and position yourself into the top 10 so yeah what can I even say I would really like that this layout was without the chicane but what can we do we just got to adapt so guys I really hope that you enjoyed and if you did you can of course hit the like button you might even want to subscribe so that's about it until the next time bye